Disclaimer. Before we start this video, know that this content is solely made for educational purposes and shedding light on the health topics that are frequently asked. Therefore if you think that you are experiencing these signs and symptoms see your medical practitioner. Do you have the following symptoms? Early epigastric pain after eating and therefore exacerbates the pain. Nausea, vomiting, and weight loss. So, how serious is gastric ulcer if untreated? Without further delay, let us delve into this topic at hand. So what is this peptic ulcer disease? Well, peptic ulcer disease is a recurring disease with relapses and remissions from weeks to months. Peptic ulcers are localized defects of the gastrointestinal mucosa extending to at least the depth of the muscularis mucosa. Peptic ulcers are most commonly found in the duodenum or stomach for which acid peptic activity plays a role in pathophysiology. Historically ulcers were attributed to stress and hyperacidity, but this idea changed with the discovery of Helicobacter pylori. Today the major etiological agents are recognized as H. pylori infection and consumption of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, including aspirin and ibuprofen. So let us look into the statistics. Epidemiology aspect of peptic ulcer disease 10% of the population suffer from it. Demographic trends. Duodenal and gastric ulcers differ in their incidence by age and gender. Sex. Male to female shows that 4 in 1 for duodenal ulcer for males, and 2 in 1 for gastric ulcer in females. Age. Patients with duodenal ulcers tend to have a younger onset, often between 30 and 55 years. However gastric ulcers are more common in the elderly, between the ages of 55 and 70 years. So what is a stomach ulcer? Stomach ulcers, also known as gastric ulcers, are painful sores in the stomach lining. Stomach ulcers occur when the thick layer of mucus that protects your stomach from digestive juices is reduced. This allows the digestive acids to eat away at the tissues that line the stomach, causing an ulcer. Defense factors. 1. Mucus secretion 2. Phospholipids. 3. Prostaglandin synthesis. 4. Bicarbonate secretion. 5. Epidermal growth factor, EGF. 6. Stomach epithelium and its regeneration. Aggressive factors. 1. Hydrochloric acid. 2. Pepsin. 3. Helicobacter pylori. 4. Bile acids. H. Pylori is a gram-negative bacillus with a spiral shape that enables it to corkscrew through gastric mucus. It is well adapted to this niche, possessing several acid protective mechanisms, important clinical tests for H. pylori, the biopsy urease test and the urea breath test. What are the other risk factors for developing gastric ulcers? Other risk factors will include Age Smoking Alcohol Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs Stress Diet. Relatives with peptic ulcer. Physical trauma or multiple organ failure. However it crucial to note down that patient age is an important with an increased risk of occurrence the most important ulcerogenic mechanism are also caused by non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as aspirin and ibuprofen gastrinomas, Zollinger-Ellison syndrome, rare gastrin secreting tumors, so how is the stomach function impaired? Slow emptying of gastric content prolongs the action of aggressive factors, there is no ulcer without HCL and pepsin, and moreover defense factors are impaired. It is of paramount importance to know that only gastric ulcers can become malignant. Other symptoms of gastric ulcers include Excessive salivation, belching vomiting is often self-induced to relieve pain. Diagnosis, endoscopy, upper endoscopy and biopsies. So is there a treatment plan that can alleviate peptic ulcer? Well, the answer is yes, the treatment options include Dietary change. Drug therapy, acid suppressive medications such as H2 receptor blockers and PPIs. PP is omeprazole, lansoprazole. Antacids and sucralfate. And for the eradication of the H. pylori. An example would be the triple therapy, these options are decided by your physician. Please make sure to subscribe and leave us a comment that you have subscribed.